after my marriage, I first started preparing my first meal for my husband. He was having his first bite in his mouth and was very eager to note what his reaction after eating the food. I could see blink a red light on his face and I could hear his mind's voice. Oh my God, am I going to eat this kind of food to the rest of my life? Fellow Toastmasters and guests, good evening. Good evening. Then I was thinking, I used every procedure as my grandmother did. But her food stays so well. Why mine is not like that? I was wondering what was that magic pill she used in her cooking. <clears throat> Today's speech of mine is about my grandmother, Mrs. Pushpaveni. She was married at the age of 15 to a doctor and they were blessed with three girls. She lost her husband at the age of 35, but she never lost hope, brought her three daughters as three confident women and got them married to three educated men. In the culture of India, the mother does not stay with their daughters after their marriage. So my grandmother was living alone. Once she came to my house, actually after a gap of five years, as there was sudden conflict that she didn't come earlier, I was 11 years old and I came after attending my school, I was preparing Maggi noodle for myself as my mother was very busy. That day, she made up her mind to stay along with us, breaking all the barriers, only to make sure that no one in our house remained hungry. And she made this commitment to throughout her life till her last breath. She could tolerate anything in this world but anyone in the house, may it be servant or us being hungry. She expired on November 21st, 2012. We could see a man, a stranger, standing in, his, in her graveyard. He was the only stranger there and my cousin brother went up to him and asked, Who are you? I've never seen you before. And he said, before 40 years, I was working to your grandfather and your grandmother is the one who fed me every day. Even today, I remember the way she served the food and also the taste of the food. It was not only him. I remember so many people naming the dishes which she prepared and recollecting the taste of the food she prepared. Then, Later, it was my turn during the first <coughs> obituary of my grandmother, November 21st, 2013, to pay my gratitude towards my grandmother. I decided to go in her way. I started preparing the best dishes from her cuisine and with the thought in my mind that this should, should not only fill their stomachs, but also their hearts. I started preparing the food so well with a lot of love for the people who are eating that food. And even now, when I meet my friends in the parties, they say, Oh, Purni, whatever you prepared on the day of your first obituary of your grandmother is the best. Now I understood what was that magic pill she used in her cooking. It was the unconditional love and the commitment to her to the work she which she took upon. And also while serving the food, we can see the feel the love which will make us eat more and remember it all the time. Your work is going to fill great part of your life. So if you want to get great work to be done, love what you do said Steve Jobs. It was not only Steve Jobs, fellow Toastmasters, Mahatma Gandhi's love for his nation has made him great. Swami Vivekananda's love for his religion 
has made him famous. Mother Teresa's love for the humanity has made her special. So, when you love what you do, your love your, to the work, make your work to become very, very special. I couldn't attend my uh, grandmother's death ceremony. A relative of me called and told me that, Purni, your grandmother is an angel. So, don't worry, she'll always be with you. I told them, no, you are, you are right, she is an angel. But her service of spreading, spreading the message of unconditional love is required for, by the whole world. And let her continue her journey. Today's speech of mine is a tribute to my grandmother and also the, all the wonderful grandmothers of this world. So, fellow Toastmaster, do you want your work or you to be remembered today and always do you want to remain immortal so love what you do may it be big or small <coughs> mr toastmaster